Hey guys, welcome back to part two of how to set up a store on the Pixie Set website. Uh, about last week or just over a week ago, I posted part one. So if you haven't seen that, that's a great starting point to getting everything set up. We'll talk about some of that stuff. So if you feel lost, then definitely go check out that video linked right there. First, we're just going to give a quick recap. So we talked about how to add a price sheet, uh, really create a price sheet from nothing, add that to your store, and then go into a gallery and select that price sheet for a specific gallery. So we've done all that. I've added a few images here, by the way, in case you're interested in checking them out. I do have a special coupon for you guys. So if you head over there right now, uh, use coupon code YouTube 10 and get 10% off your purchase. Uh, I'm working on just promoting these a little bit, selling them. So if you're interested in doing that, feel free to check it out. This video is sponsored by me after all. So if you're, looking to get some scripture wall hangings or whatnot, high quality images, uh, by all means, head over there, no one else in photog .mypixieset com forward slash scripture art. So by all means, I appreciate any support I get that way wise. Um, let's jump right into the video though. I got here by going to the dashboard and clicking on store. So at this point we are in the orders tab. This is kind of some more of the behind the scenes and then we'll jump right in to how you implement your gallery, your gallery that is part of your store essentially into your website. So that way people can go to your website and find a gallery where you're promoting some more commercial work you might be selling, that sort of thing. It's really simple, it's gonna look great. So here we can see your orders. I'm just gonna quickly go over a couple of these your different customers your products we looked in depth at this in the last video and here's a couple other things so taxes taxes are automated easy enough to do in this case you set up your location and it'll automate them perfect shipping I also have shipping automated as far as automatic fulfillment goes and I believe everything I'm selling right now is going through automatic fulfillment so that means shipping will automatically be handled by whatever lab whatever company the lab chooses to ship the stuff from so I've been happy with that I've not had any issues with it uh, and then coupons of course you can see I did just add this one so this is coupon YouTube 10 10% 10 off super easy to add I was actually just looking at this a couple minutes ago and it took me 30 seconds to add one and uh, really simple I'm happy with how that works so by all means get 10% off now sponsored by me anyways <laughs> I've said that uh, enough and lastly, we have settings. So this is where you add a payment method. So this is how your customer pays essentially or how your the money will be handled, I guess, getting from the customer to you. So Pixie Set uses Stripe. Uh, PayPal is a way of integrating it, I guess now. I did not have that option when I was first setting up my store. So I just went with Stripe. It was free, easy, and I was happy to use that. Uh, just a couple other things down here your terms of sale and your digital image license to give more information on that You can by all means add in text there So now that we've talked over some of that nitty-gritty stuff Let's jump back to my gallery and I'll show you the store and I'll show you how to implement that gallery or Any gallery you have into your website. It's easy. Don't worry. So here we are in my gallery again and if we see right here, there's a print store option. And this option is only going to be available if your product's price sheet is the updated version. So like I told you in the last video, they had recently updated their site to have new price sheets to implement this sort of print store. So the old price sheets will not show this up. It just, it doesn't, it's not combat compatible for some reason. So be make, make sure you are using the new price sheets that way all of this stuff will show up. So if we click on the print store, this is one way you could go about buying prints from me. So we click on print store, we select the type of print we want mounted, we want an eight by 10 with a glossy finish on mat board, buy prints, right? Now we can select what prints we want to buy. And then from there, it'll go into getting our, you know, credit card information and shipping address and all that stuff. So. That's one way you can go about buying it. The next way, we want to select one image and then hit the shopping cart, buy. From there, we can select that we wanted a mounted print 8x10 glossy with a matte board. So there's kind of two different ways you can go about ordering or buying prints off of that. I just wanted to go over that to shed some light on any confusion you might have with that. 
it's essentially the same either way you're buying the same photo you're buying the same everything it's it's just two different ways of doing it now let's jump into our website all right so i'm in the edit website tab because i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can add this to your pixie set website so if we scroll down just a second we can see scripture wall hangings just a little kind of pro promo for it right promoting that it is a thing and you can go check it out so it's really easy to do this we can just click on it and see that it's just an image with a little bit of text we could add a subtitle if we wanted to say get 10 percent off with coupon youtube 10 right so that's kind of an easy way to promote something like that obviously we would want to link it to the URL of our gallery that's easy enough to get pasted in right there and we're set. Now before we do anything else we do want to publish this make sure it's saved we don't want to not have that saved so now we're done that's an easy way to implement it and I'll actually start from scratch so you just want to find a spot wherever you want it to be on your website and hit a little plus sign from there the one I chose was down in links you can actually choose an image if you just would like an image and you can have a very small subtitle underneath it if you want to so you could say click on me to enter gallery who knows whatever you might like so you can select that and you can attach that to a link I found out links was my best spot for it because I just chose image link from there I clicked over here I uploaded a photo I changed the image title and I changed the subtitle and I added the URL and then we click back and click publish and we are set good to go and to see what that looks like it is just like that so it's just giving us a picture I think it looks super slick I think there's a lot of cool ways that you can implement it basically one for any style of website that you might have so I've been happy with just all the freedom they have and we can double check to make sure that link works and by all means works perfectly so I hope that shed some light on some questions that you might have had. If you have more questions, by all means, ask me in the comments. I hope to be able to answer them. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you're interested in learning how to invest, by all means, check out a recent video I did on investing. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.